Hello, this is the first video of my new Minecraft series, of my very first series in fact, and I'd like to build a medieval kind of fantasy town or a village. I used the replay mod to record this, but other than that I'm not using any mods at all, and well the resource pack is DocuCraft, if anyone was interested it's, it's all in the description. So in this video in particular, as you can see, I started creating the first building and uh, it's going to be like an inn or a pub or how do you call it, basically the, the, the building where um, people or the travelers can come and sleep overnight and get some food and drink. So basically I started with planning the inn and creating a floor plan. And if you would like to build this, do not actually copy this floor plan, as I'm going to change it later. I mean, uh, this is not really supposed to be like a step-by-step -step tutorial how to build this in, but this is mainly just for inspiration, as I did not pre-plan this building or the town, and well, I don't know how the town is going to look in the end, or if I'm ever going to get there. Uh, I mean, I obviously know how this building is going to look because I'm using the replay mode, so I'm doing the commentary after building it. But uh, my point is, when I was actually building this, uh, I didn't really know how it's going to turn out, how it's going to look. So there will be quite some changes during the video. I'll still try to explain what I was doing and thinking when building it, but um, I just don't know. Even myself, when I watch other people's uh, Minecraft videos, it's just for inspiration. And I just feel like most people don't actually copy what other people build, but uh, look just for ideas and some inspiration. So I hope this can maybe inspire some other people. And well, if anyone wanted to just uh, like copy and build this, I guess you can still do that. Uh, well, if not, uh, I still it's uh, pretty cool to just see how this building or the town eventually will grow and develop. Anyway, uh, back to the building. I'm going to just briefly explain this floor plan, uh, as I guess it is kind of uh, confusing for anyone watching this. So um, I used the pink wool to represent the main furniture and then uh, basically just built around it. So I started with the main entrance, uh, which leads to the yard with um, some stables and yeah, so, something like a parking lot for cars. Uh, <laughs> I really don't know how to call it, but I guess you'll see what I mean when I build it. Uh, so there's also going to be like toilets and a water well, and that's that's just all going to be like outside. And uh, then the, there's the entrance to the actual building and a small reception right as there someone enters the building. And uh, the rooms will be on the second floor, so there's a staircase next to the reception. So I was thinking that people who enter can go either like upstairs to the room or they can go to the pub area. And you can see the pub is the biggest area of this floor, so there are plenty of tables and this uh, kind of like VIP corner with a fireplace. Uh, the fire is represented by the yellow wool and I just wanted to know when, uh, where I'll need to build the chimneys. Uh, so there's another fireplace in the kitchen, obviously, to cook and also in the bathroom. And in the bathroom there will be those like metal wooden rounded taps or I don't, I don't know. And that, that was pretty much uh, my idea for this inn. I, I tried to plan it so it kind of makes sense and it could like work realistically or <laughs> hypothetically. Uh, I mean, I don't know how accurate it is from like the historical point of view. Uh, I really don't know much about medieval inns, but yeah, <laughs> it's just Minecraft. So I don't care. These are my ideas and I think it's fine and hope you like it as well. Alright, after planning the house, I started to actually build it, finally, and I started with the main entrance, and as you can see, I was already changing the floor plan a bit. It's because I decided to make the walls thicker, because I wanted to add, like, um, windows, so 
The wall is basically three blocks thick. There are bricks inside, cobblestone on the outside, and finally the wood logs as uh, support pillars. Then I added a bit of decoration to the windows with some stone bricks, stairs and flaps, as well as wood fans. And for the main entrance, my idea was to create like a hole or a tunnel in the building, if you know what I mean. And I started to lay out the walls of the second floor as well, just to see how it's going to look all together overall. And again, I had to change the size of the yard and move it a little bit because of the thicker walls. Then I finished the entrance uh, tunnel or how to call it. Uh, I just like the idea of covering the yard from the outside. So basically for, from, the, from the front view, it's going to look just like a normal, rather small building. But in fact, it's it's going to be much larger when actually coming inside, coming to the yard. And yeah, I, I just like that. So then I started to finish the walls and added a bit more decorations with slabs. Just again to see how the inn will look overall. You might notice the windows as well as the stone bricks basics of the wooden pillars are not exactly all the same. And well, that's just how I build, because when I have different ideas about how to do something, I just build more variations of it and then kind of compare it, look what looks better for me and just pick something. So um, in the end, I just started to finish the walls on the, also on the other side and I just used the same technique. So bricks, the uh, cobblestone and woodlocks. Here I decided to create a staircase leading from the outside, from the yard to the first floor where the bedrooms will be eventually. Uh, well, I was thinking like uh, right there, there's going to be a staircase next to the reception, but it's mainly for the people who just arrive and get a room so they can go up. But uh, when, I don't know, someone already is living in, in the inn and already rented a room, and then uh, goes out to the town, then wants to return. I guess he doesn't need to really go around the reception and all again. So I was thinking just having a staircase uh, straight from the from the yard to the first floor can be a good idea. Uh, I think it makes sense. Well, I don't know. It might be stupid and just too much, but I just like these uh, small details. So why not, right? And... After that, I decided to make a couple of cards uh, to see how it fits in it, in the parking area. And I was actually testing the cards before, uh, how big I should make them. I was mainly considering uh, if I should use uh, like just one block for one wheel, and uh, so the card would be rather small, or if I should um, make the wheel from four stairs in... Um, more more of a circle uh, but in the end I decided to make it smaller and use just one block as a, as a wheel uh, because of the size of the horses and I used the wood log as, as the wheel because there is uh, this kind of circle so and that's probably the best I can get in Minecraft and yeah uh, I chose that because of the of the horses and if I made just one wheel from four stairs or four blocks, it would look uh, kind of ridiculously too big in comparison with the horses. So you can see here I built just the two very simple carts and tied the horse there. So I think this this size is pretty reasonable. Uh, I guess you can imagine uh, just how big uh, it would be if um, if I used the uh, four blocks for just one wheel. So like that this parking area next i started to build a bit on, on the interior just to see how how it fits inside and how it is so i built these uh bath tabs or how to call it i used just upside down stairs in a circle so i don't know it, it's supposed to be this medieval wooden tap or whatever i, I don't know how it's called 
And then I also created basics of the fireplace in the bathroom, as well as in the kitchen. Again, to see how, how much space I'll need for that. And I, I, I just also fixed some small stuff here and there. And then I moved to the pub area and kind of continued with the walls. I wanted to use a bit different style of windows here. I still uh, use the bricks because I like that, uh, like before. But this time I moved the bricks and the window kind of forward instead of backwards like before. But I, I also use the same like deep window in, in the middle as you can see. And again, because of the windows, I had to rearrange the chairs and tables inside and a bit, um, I just made the whole pub a bit bigger, in fact. The next thing on my mind was the roof. So I created just a basic uh, shape, as you can see. I was considering using slabs and stairs and yeah, in the end I used both. And then I left the roof and played a bit with the fireplaces in the kitchen and the bathroom. And they are actually going to burn the house later on, but yeah, you'll see that. Anyway, um, back to the roof, I wanted to also add some windows to the attic, as there are going to be some more rooms. First, uh, I was trying this uh, kind of smaller window, so just a uh, one and a half block high window. Then I changed it to a bigger one, but later on I'll just come back and change it back again to the smaller one. Here I started raising the walls around the reception area. I was filling some floor and also created like the main frame on the second floor. Uh, I know this uh, is pretty messy to watch probably, but as I was just uh, jumping from one part of the building to another and kind of there and back again, but that's just how I build. I usually like building just a bit of something, then like go away from it and come back after a while to see if I really like it, if it's good, if I change my mind. So yeah, you can see I was really flying all around and doing a bit of roof, a bit of floor, a bit of walls and roof again and like that. And then I moved to finish these windows. Uh, again, at first I, I just decided I would bring the windows forward. Then I left, did a bunch of different stuff and came here back to finish the windows. So I created some uh, like fake roofs and more details with tail snaps, uh, fences and walls. And um, I continued with uh, more windows on the next side of the pub area. And I went for the same style, so kind of two windows brought forward and two windows backwards. Here uh, on the left corner, I decided to create another entrance straight like from the street to the pub. I thought uh, it could be a good idea. So yeah, I left a hole here and um, just finished the windows and the support pillars, added more details and decorations again. You can see I changed the roof to cobblestone, but again later on I'll come back and change it back, a back again to the original stone bricks. Alright, next I was pretty much just using the same design of the deep windows with bricks to finish the walls and windows around the reception area. And I also created this um, kind of VIP corner in the pub. I mean, uh, it's it's just going to be like a more luxurious part of the pub with a bit more privacy and fireplace. I guess for the rich people, I don't know. So, um, yeah, you can see again the floor plan, the original floor plan changed quite a bit here again. Here I was kind of finishing the parts I started building before. As I mentioned already, I usually just start building something, then kind of leave it and come back later. So yeah, here I came back to finish pretty much the ceiling slash floor. I mean, I guess you can see in this building I was using just one slab as both uh, the ceiling and the floor. And I also finished some walls to see how, how the second floor will look overall. And I started thinking about the attic and about the roof, how it's going to be connected all together. For the pub, I decided to use a bit different style of the roof. <coughs> I'm sorry. And here uh, I was again doing the roof windows. And yeah, I, 
again, was considering uh, two different sizes of windows, so I built them both to compare it, and in the end I decided to go with a smaller one, so I also changed the first roof window I, I built before. And then I, I was just uh, filling the roof pretty much as I already had the basic shape. I was also trying some different decorations and adding more pillars on, on the front side uh, of the inn. Uh, I was trying some different pillars and trying to use more of uh, those red bricks instead of stone bricks and stuff like that. And yeah, again, I, I did some different designs, left it like that for a while and then I'll come back and see what I liked. The next big step for me was to plan the second floor, how the bedrooms will be divided and the hallway kind of connecting each bedroom, as well as again the roof. I have to say the roof was pretty challenging to do with this building uh, because, uh, well, the inn or the building is pretty huge and it's kind of um, a lot of weird different shapes so it's not like one square or rectangle it's not really symmetrical so I spent quite some time thinking about how to do it and it gives me some effort to kind of think how to make it work uh, anyway as gives for the plan of the second floor I made this uh, main huge hallway to basically cover and connect both the staircase leading from the reception area as well as the staircase leading from the outside from the yard and then a small hallway to get to kind of each bedroom and this side of the roof I know it's not symmetrical I know it kind of sucks and well there there are there's basically on the left side it's uh, kind of five blocks from the left corner to, to the window. But on the right side, from the right corner to the window, it's six blocks. So, yeah, I know it's just what happens when not pre-planning the building and kind of building whatever I want. So I was thinking about remaking it, but I decided not to do it in the end. I mean, not everything needs to be perfect, right? So... No, I'm just lazy. <laughs> anyway, uh, then I took a break from the roof and went back to finish some more walls around the VIP corner in the pub, as well as another fireplace. And I also built this entrance to the pub. Uh, about this entrance, I was thinking, like, the people who don't want to rent a room and who want to just, I don't know, come for a dinner or get some beer, uh, I guess they don't need to go through the main tunnel entrance and go through the yard to get to the pub. So I think having the entrance just straight from the street to the pub is a pretty good idea. So then I wanted to continue with the roof and there it is. It happened, a huge fire. <laughs> uh, it happened now because uh, I also just finished some floor inside with wood and we and it was just too close to the fire so yeah a huge part of the, of the building just burned and well what can I say don't play with fire uh obviously I rebuild it later but uh I didn't make a replay of that I, I didn't think it was necessary so here I instead I focused on the other parts of, of the roof on the right side of the reception, I originally was uh, thinking about having just a, like a personal room for the innkeeper. And here I decided to actually build a tower there. I mean, there's still going to be the room, but it's just going to be a tower. And I'm not sure why I decided to do so. Uh, it, it it doesn't make like much sense and it doesn't have any real purpose, but just why not it's uh it's not very high tower or anything as um yeah i i don't know i can't explain why i built it i just did uh, i just felt like having a tower so uh why not i created uh, the basic structure here and as always as i always do i'll come back to it later to add more details and finish it and then I also tried to finish the roof uh, around the pub area and again it, this is the weird part of the roof because of the fact it's not symmetrical as I already mentioned so 
finishing it, yeah, it, it was a bit of struggle, but it doesn't fit perfectly, but yeah, I, I don't care, I can live with it. So now, as you can see, I fixed and rebuilt the burnt part of the building. And I wanted to also kind of unite the different designs I had there for the decorations around the windows and the support pillars. So I just went around the whole building and basically fixed and just decided to go with one style. And so I did that. I also focused a bit on these walls around the yard. Yeah, so far, I was uh, mainly focusing on the on the other side of the buildings, like from from the outside. So I laid out some windows here, uh, as well as some pillars, to have an idea how it's going to look. And next, I went back to the VIP area and finished the second floor above this corner, as well as the roof here. Uh, I finally connected these <laughs> these roofs and also made a balcony there. Uh, I don't know, there just was this kind of bit of space with um, nothing to have there, I'd say, so I just built a balcony. Then I finished this corner of the inn and I decided to make uh, one more room on the second floor. It's going to be like a meeting room or something like that. So not, uh, not an ordinary bedroom. It's, I was thinking there's already enough uh, enough space for those bedrooms so yeah a meeting room with um, another balcony again I just liked how the first balcony turned out so I decided to do one more the next step for me was building those tables so I continued with the roof to cover the tables uh, but I, I didn't really want to make the tables closed with walls entirely as it would uh, just look like another part of the building and it wouldn't be like um, uh, outside or it wouldn't be pretty much part of the yard as I wanted to do it so I went with these uh, semi-closed stables I guess. Here I finished the roof finally as I've already mentioned the roof was pretty challenging for me to do because of the different shapes and stuff uh, I think it took me like most of the time to build a roof but um, overall, I, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it fits uh, nicely after all. And then I went back to the tower and started to add more details and decorations. I also finished the toilets or latrines or how it's called. Well, it's, uh, it's just a hole in the ground. Uh, I was thinking for a while to make the chimneys uh, with red bricks. And here I finally decided to do so. I just wanted to um, use the bricks more I, because I, I like how I use them for the windows and I wanted to repeat that uh, pattern or th those bricks somewhere else. Uh, I guess you could, uh, you could notice that I was trying to use the bricks before for some decorations here and there but I didn't really like that. So in the end I, I decided to use the bricks for the chimneys. Then I added more windows on this side of the roof as well, uh, so it's basically mirrored. And after I went back to the tower again to add more details, I used those red bricks as well here uh, for the tower to, to keep the same design and just have, uh, have a bit of that red um, also uh, on this part of the building. I decided to add a couple of windows uh, also on this part of the roof. Uh, because the hallway was pretty dark inside, so the windows helped and it also kind of uh, broke the roof, which was uh, rather boring here. And finally, I I went back to these walls around the yard and I actually tried to use the jungle wood. It, it looks a bit different in this resource pack than normally. It looks uh, pretty much just like ordinary oak wood with, um, with some leaves around. And I like it a lot, so I decided to use that as a decoration for these walls. Now the building was pretty much done and I just had a few more things to do. First off, it was a water well. Uh, so I, I think it makes sense to have one here as, uh, as water is needed in the kitchen, in the bathroom, but uh, also for the horses. So a small uh, water well in the yard. I also added some more decorations to the tower, 
on the bottom part, I made these kind of horse statues. I was thinking about doing uh, more windows, but well, uh, I guess I just wanted something more original than just ordinary windows. And the last important part to do was um, to add the windows and the doors. And I was trying to use different colors for the windows. Uh, so it's basically like each floor has its color. It might look a bit too crazy for someone, but I just like colors, so it's good for me. And uh, finally, I also rearranged this uh, back entrance to the pub. Uh, because originally the doors were supposed to be uh, like right next to the chimney, which was like um, hidden, I'd say, and I, it didn't look so good in my opinion. So I moved the entrance to the other side, basically. Alright, so the inn is done, mostly. I mean, the main building is finished. It just needs some more decorations, uh, like uh, trees and flowers and stuff like that. Uh, as well as the furniture inside, but I think I'm going to make another video for the interior. And as goes for the exterior, I didn't really want to do that much around the building, because as I've mentioned in the beginning of this video, I don't want to build just this inn, but uh, I want to do a whole town eventually. So the exterior kind of depends on what's going to be around this inn, and uh, yeah, I don't know that yet. Uh, I don't have the town pre-planned, so, uh, I mean, about the town, I have just this idea that it's going to be like a medieval slash fantasy style, meaning um, I don't know much about medieval architecture, so I'm not trying to, like, copy any realistic historical uh, architectural style. Um, I'm just building whatever I feel like uh, could be medieval. And yeah, uh, my idea is also that I'd like each building in the town to like have a purpose. I mean, um, imaginary, of course. <laughs> so uh, I was thinking about building uh, like a sawmill, a fisherman's hut, some farms and windmills and bakery, brewery, armory, or hunter's hut and stuff like that. Uh, as well as obviously just ordinary houses and well I started with the inn and this is really huge building I, I didn't really expect it to be so large but um, well at the same time it's going to be one of the largest and most important buildings in the town so I guess it's fine uh, yeah so um, I don't want to do the exterior that much yet because uh, I need to think about this area around around the inn and what other buildings are going to be around. And I think I might make like a main square somewhere nearby because this is really going to be in the center of the town eventually. Uh, so anyway, uh, you could see I used some random dark oak wood for the roof to spice it up a bit with colors. And I made, uh, made the main uh, pathway here. So um, my idea was uh, like there's going to be um, like a main street somewhere here. Uh, from this front view, it doesn't really look um, that huge uh, as it actually is. But then going through the tunnel, through the main entrance, you can see how, how big the building is. So um, through the tunnel to the yard where people can like park uh, their carts and the horses and go to the building to the reception uh yeah i i guess that could work and if anyone was interested this took me almost exactly 10 hours to build <laughs> it's pretty it's quite a lot i'd say it was a pretty big project and well just a large building but um but i'm happy with the result um yeah that's the uh, the end of this video. Uh, I hope you like it and hope you've enjoyed. Uh, but I assume you kind of did if you're still <laughs> watching till now. So thank you very much. Uh, I hope this was helpful for someone or maybe someone could find some inspiration or ideas for your buildings. And if anyone had any suggestions or comments or whatever, uh, I'd be glad to read them. So thank you for watching and bye bye.